Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dragons and Dresses Craft Sordium Sunday Live. We've Oops. got a new special guest with us today, and we're going to have Miss Mary only for a little while. She's going to her sister's for um, Easter. But we have next to me up here, we have Miss Martha Townsend. Um, she has uh, her own YouTube channel as well. She likes to do marathon lives. Um, mm -hmm. Then we have Miss Mary, my sister from another mother and Mister. Hello. We have Miss Francis and Miss Jeannie. Hi guys. And we have Miss Coral Marine Resinart. Hello. Miss Francis and Miss Jeannie is, of course, beating crazy custom creations. Oh, sorry. There we go. I gotta pull my chat out. Hello, Sue. How are you? Hi, Sue. So now you can take me off so that you guys are shown because I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Light bulb, lump on my log. Hey, bring I don't know how out. to do that. <laughs> and we are um, good and cold. Nope. It says either kick them out of the studio or nope, can't do that. No, it's Wait, the way you. I think if I hit remove, it takes you out completely. Yeah, no. that's no fair. Do. You don't want to do that. How's that? Oh, wait, I figured it out. Got it. Okay. Wow, nifty. There we go. Cool beans. You have to go on that person's picture up there in the little hamburger dots, the three dots, click on yeah. it, and it says remove from stage, but she's still there, right, Mary? Mary? <laughs> now I can't hear her. Now, now That's I can't hear you. I was backstage. Yeah, you can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, but you can get you double click on the. I can mute your mic, but I can't. And if I hit remove, you're gone. Out, I it kicks you out completely. If I do picture in picture, can you still hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. So go back that way, the other way. But I can still see you too. Yeah, but if you go out like you just did, you had the, the main picture and then you had the other pictures. I think it's just. Mm. I have layouts. Right. We're yeah, we're still trying to figure this out, Sue. If you you have the there. That's me, and that's y'all. Yeah. But that's not nice for me to put me in there. No, I know, but... Okay. Picture and picture layout shifts. Oh, no, I'm not going over there to get my computer. My keyboard is somewhere over here. Why, you just so, click on it. But first, I, I, I filled up my skull. Wow. Ooh. Finally, now we're, getting, we're gonna. I started to do it, but all I did was trim the edge off because it was super sharp in spots because it's polyurethane, yeah. and I haven't done it yet. But that's as far as I got. So I hope I don't knock the crap out of the camera and knock you guys for loops. <laughs> oh. I'll be left. We might be in trouble. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's no hole in it. Hole in what? One. Oh, my squeezy bottle. Oh. Because <laughs> I don't want to put alcohol in my molds. Because alcohol is a drying agent. I'm all scientific. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why I don't put anything in mine. If I did, it would only be water. Yeah, it's mine's soapy water. That's it. I don't even want to do that because I've the one or two times I've tried that I've had such a hard time trying to get the soap out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we have a water softener. It's so hard to get the soap out. Oh yeah, I don't. I have hard water. Holy crap! And a cracker. <laughs> ah, there. 
Okay, okay, here it comes. I'm trying to keep it on the table so y'all can see me give birth to this thing. Right? That's how it feels, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Ooh, Don't I forget to so say hi when you come cheeks. in. Let me know who oh, y'all are. That's going to be so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm seeing some pretty color. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's crowding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I gotta twist that umbilical cord off. <laughs> okay, let me turn it right side back out. Wipe the baby off. Some of them things I watched—they're really tough to get out. And it took what did I say? Um, four. 700 seven, milliliters, I think you said. Seven milliliters. 700 milliliters. Wow. Okay. Well, here we go. It's a big skull. Oh, Ooh. that is gorgeous. Yes, I, oh. I love that. I see a new mold. And I more. poured that little bit before. <laughs> I think I need a new pin mold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. And That's I the one I don't have. Now I, don't I had left in either. here and I couldn't have. Because when yeah, you what? do that. Oh, crap. It screwed it up. The drip marks from the first one. I let it cure too long before putting more on it. But it's all right. That's the only place it is. But isn't that cool? Yep. And I got it from the orange and white place because the same one on Amazon is three times the price. Yeah. Right? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I've had one on my uh, wish list for a while that's about 35 almost $36. And it's and I got my dragon egg mold in. I'm going to switch back over now. I got my dragon egg mold in. Yeah. And it's uh, hey Gert, and it's deformed. What? So you got lucky. Yeah, uh, it's deformed in two different ways. Uh oh. The the base is deformed, and the the uh, the lid, the yeah. top part of the egg, it's deformed as well. well see, that's what happened with both of my sets. I haven't done it yet, so I. I mean, mine doesn't look deformed. It doesn't mean that it isn't. Right. Mine was. I mean, it looks it. Oh, you can even. All right. So the the my bloody Valentine was not quite fine enough to stick to it, but now I see it in there. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I forgot that I'd put that my bloody Valentine on there. That's pretty. That's that one twenty eight. Um, is that going in my box? Glitter. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I'm allowed to send it. Because it's going to be bigger by the time I get ready to send it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Doesn't do any good to say no. Yeah, I had to get that mold. Yeah, I'm going to have to get it too now. It doesn't show it in the picture, but it shows it. I'll try to send you the link. I'll okay. send it to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. The one in the picture shows the one that Coral did. Oh, I said Bruce. Hi, Butts. How are you? Thanks well, for joining us on a Sunday. Hi, Gert. Hi, Gert. Hi, Bud. Okay, let's see everybody and see what everybody's up to. All right. Martha, what are you up to? I am. If you say five, eight, I'm going to knock you. I am just playing. I'm learning. I don't really do resin, and I am just playing. 
Are you putting beads in it, Marta? Uh, no beads. I don't think no. Okay. I'm She's putting drawing um, it. He's, you're dying oh, it, aren't fairy, you? Fairy flakes. Okay. What's the other word for that film? Dionysin or something? Dichroic film? The Dichroic film? film? Mylar? Yeah. That stuff. <laughs> yeah, I made one little thing right there, and this is going to be my second one. But my pieces okay. are too big. Oh, Mary removed or took her camera off. Okay. Yeah, I, I was trying to make it so that people could see. There's Miss Coral. I have that mold. I can't wait to use it. Mary's got it too. Yes, I've used it. Are you painting them individually or? I'm just filling in the touching of the lines because I've already had. Uh, I'll have the first part of the video out once I finished editing it. This is just uh, kind of sort of, they've got detail lines because there's, you know, gloss and matte parts. So I'm kind of sort of just adding in some detail lines in between where the gloss and the, the matte parts are to give some details. Some of them I had already done on the oh. other video. So okay, can, so it's are they all? Matt and gloss yeah i haven't between, it yet so i have i don't know yet there's one that there's other than actually putting a very liquidy paint in it's so dotty i will not be able to use a marker in this guy will not be getting a marker because i don't and i don't have paint available handy that's other than black and it won't work with this color glitter so I'll, i'm giving you a heads up i used some of your glitters <laughs> On these two guys, I used a combination of a couple of the glitters that you gave me this April on these two. That'll be in the video. So oh, I cool. used the gifted mold and I used the gifted glitters. <laughs> when I get the video out. <laughs> okay, and Miss Francis and Miss Jeannie, what are you guys doing? I am doing the little dragon ear cuffs don't forget to put your hair back before you get resin out and i'm doing the little gnome i got from oh oh isn't he cute i got that from hobby lobby and i'm going to do some dragon wings oh yeah oh i like that yeah i'm gonna do some dragon wings that's what I got going. Um, they said you. I don't know why you got two ear cuffs in there, but I'm okay with that. Left ear and right ear. No, but there's ear two. Cuffs, one for left ear and one for right ear. Well, maybe that's why you have two of them. Well, don't matter. I can I can do those or, two. Oh, you have two of the same mold. Yeah, two of the same mold. Are they the exact same? The wings are the same? Yes. Yeah. That must have been an accident then. <laughs> exactly the same. Those came huh. from Amazon. That's neat. I've got a whole bunch of those with the fairy ones too. I just, I bought them all. They're over here in a drawer. I had an Aurora color that I was going to use, but I'm not sure where I put it at the moment. Just like my other mold I wanted to do. I had two of them, and I'm not sure where the other one's at now. I'm going to try that Daniel Cooper method, method thing that he did, but I've been trying it with the fluorescent nail powders and all, and it's just not working, so really? I'm just going to give up on that. I've already tried it three times, and this is what I get got the last time mm -hmm. it just didn't work right it's a clear drum. that's alcohol ink on my hand where I put it. a, but i'm gonna try the same method but i'm gonna try with bria reese alcohol ink because that's what i have right here it, put it in. 
Ooh, I might different. try it with acrylic ink too. These other aurora colors. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't know what color is what, though. But I'm doing it on a small version, not it's the big one anymore. Blue, gold, purple, green. I don't know what color is what. Oh, wait a minute. Is there an acrylic nose? Yeah, there's a number on it. Oh, Butch posted the owl skull mold that he did. I have to I check it out after this, Mr. Butch. Has he posted it since he poured it? I haven't seen that post yet. I'm going to go back and uh, check it out. Uh, it, was, it was gorgeous, all painted up. So I'm going to have to go back and check out, see how it turned out. He said he posted it. Yeah, I haven't haven't been TikTok yet. You're trying oh, to get the that's probably bubbles up. Is it on TikTok, Butch? He has it on YouTube. He has Does a he? YouTube channel. I know, but I didn't see it on YouTube. I I seen it on TikTok. Oh, I don't know you TikTok. Yeah, well, I, he sent me a he mentioned me on TikTok. So when I went over there, he uh, I seen that he had it uh, ready to pour. Okay, I'll have to go to YouTube and check it out. Really? Well, I can't do the Bria Reefs. I don't have a yellow. Well, lucky darn. I like bubbles in it, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Okay, now what are we going to do? Coral got the new glass um, leveling table. I do too. I got one. A glass yep. leveling table? Yep. Sure did. Someone I heard of the other ones warping. Yeah, one of my subscribers sent me the link to it, so I went and purchased it. I went searching last night. My husband said that was the big, or not last night, the other, the night before, and it came in yesterday right before we left. Yeah, we so we got it set up today and that's what I'm using. Yeah. I like it. Because I don't think it's going to warp with if you have your heat mat on it. It's not going to make it warp. It's tempered glass. It's not going to. Right. Like the J. Diction one, I'm pretty sure it's already warped. Oh, I know for a fact my J. Diction one did, and then the T. Expert one I got after that did also, as well as the um, four foot by two foot Husky one I got from Home Depot, which is a full table, which was supposed to be, you know, a, the full table is a leveling table, and it's warped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sucks that they work that bad. Even the heat mats are warped. Yeah. Got I've got those heat mat things. I just don't use them. Two, bit, two different brands and they're both warped. I never bought the heat mats, but I, I got the... Mm -hmm. The Let's Resin curing machine and that other uh, curing machine. I can't remember the name of it, but it has the... The resiner? Yeah, the resiners. Yeah. I don't like it because the the heat comes from the bottom and the way I shake trying to, to pour and stuff, yep. if you accidentally spill, it's going to go right into the heat thing. So it's only been used like twice. And yeah, I've had, a, I've had accidents in it both times. And I'm like, yeah... Yeah. Hi, Tantiota. I've used it. I just. I Hi, Tantiota. Since I got the new resin, with resin one, I did. I've only used that one now. 
this one will get. I showed the girl some of the pictures on Facebook of your miniatures. Yes. Oh, I love your miniatures. Yes. Yes. Martha here. Hi, Auntie. They're very nice. Very, very nice. And I do miniatures every now and then, too. No, I'm just wonder, playing around with resin. I just put Magnet. alcohol. Magnets. Magnets. I don't know what I want to do. I got into my nail stuff. Ah! <clears throat> well, I don't suggest pouring alcohol into these little bitty bottles without a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't imagine it works well without a funnel. I now smell like a, a hospital. <laughs> okay, so you clean. But my hand is sanitized. <laughs> That's for sure. Happy Easter, Sue. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy, Happy Easter, Easter everyone. Yeah, happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter. Sorry. I'm worried that this is going to turn into mud. Uh, yeah, it's still wet. That one's running out too much. I'm going to get this one done, and then I'm going to put it, fill it, and pull it in. Although that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a roar of colors. That I haven't used. I'm gonna have to show some of that beaded jewelry you showed Mary and I earlier, Martha. Oh, it's in the other room. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not sorry. Uh, for those that just came in, where did I put it? I unmolded the skull rose pencil cup. Uh, that I did, that I started last week. Yeah, I should not have poured just two or three drops, but you'll see why in a minute. But I finally unmolded it. I gave birth to it today. And it's beautiful. Oh, it's yes, beautiful. it is. You can see where the other Holly had cured. And then I filled it, did it, did it yesterday. So it was a week old. Yeah. But you can still see the red, my buddy Valentine. Beautiful. I think my less resin one is that big. I, mean, I have one from less resin, but I don't think it's that big a skull. I don't go like it's that dragon skull that I made the mold for. So I think the only big I have it is the one I made that out of that dragon skull. The mm. dragon skull, the big one with the mm -hmm. That's the biggest. Skull is it Kathleen Rose coming to get you, Mayor? Okay. Yes, or Erica. I'm gonna do that one first. These two. Rose is coming. Remember when I was attempting to make that elk? Yes, I have the elephant blanket, actually. Remember, you gave it to me. It's uh, It was in Bella's room up in Colorado. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. All right, so that one didn't work. We're going to have to try something different. I'm getting ready to put my resin in here so I can get it in the machine. Okay, are you done with this? No. Okay. I'll just close it like that. Oh, that one's turning into a mess. Oh, well, it might have worked if I hadn't screwed it up. I'm going to try it again. Now I know what I did wrong. Oh, oh. Don't put this on there. You want to Leave that one alone. There's that. Worked on the other ones. It doesn't want to work on the poly. Really? The acrylic cool. markers does not like painting on the polyurethane. It works well on uh, coloring on resin. It doesn't like coloring on polyurethane. It's just oh. going everywhere. Yeah. 
Ugh. <laughs> Not that problem. Well, I guess those colors are going to be out. Yeah. I tried them, too. I only got one to work, and then it, I don't know, it was one I hadn't used before, and it started coming out like crazy, and ended up, I ended up with a big mess. <laughs> Trying to wipe well, these it. These are brand new Let's Resin acrylic marker pens. Yes, and I'm telling you, they, come, they yeah, come out. Yeah, like I saw crazy. that on your live Friday. Yeah. yeah. They like crazy. I was trying to control it, but there wasn't no controlling it. It was coming out however it wanted to. I was trying to get a little in here and wipe off some extra excess, and it's going to yeah. be a magnet for the grandbaby, so it's not like it's going to anybody. Right. My Aunt Donna and even my Aunt Sylvia love the domino set. Uh, yeah. They're wanting me to change the color of the dominoes because I agreed when we played with them last night. You, it's very difficult to read the numbers because it matches the glitter. So she uh -oh. uh, ordered a uh, set of uh, black oil, uh, oil-based markers. So I'll be changing them um, into black for the the dots later. I think uh, I, when I come back up to, or go back, I should say, go back down to visit them in uh, next month in May. Well, not next month, but basically next month. It's a month and a day or two away. <laughs> May. <laughs> next yeah. time when they, when family comes back to visit. And then my Aunt Sylvia's asked me to make them a set. So I'll be making a blue set with the gold chunky glitter. So now I've got to order some more, a whole thing of, uh, or find some other companies. I need some gold chunky glitter that looks like the Let's Resins gold chunky glitter. Oh. And then uh, they want a variety of colors gold chunky. for their dots. Not just one color. They want every number to be a different color. So that's going to be a PIA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be. Yep. <laughs> Well, now that I got the full set, oh. I, gotta, I gotta take the last set and make it for the neighbor kids because I made them a steampunk set for. Just so you know, if you haven't bought the that little rack thing, don't waste your money. They don't fit. Oh, you're kidding. Nope, it doesn't fit. That's what we, because uh, I sat there and I made a set of six of them in the trains. The trains yeah. work, they're little, but you it's very difficult to get the bubbles out of the full train pieces. I kept losing it on the, the tops of the trains. A lot of them didn't get all the full bubbles. And they literally bought a pack of 10 of the trains that, you know, came a whole bunch of colors cheaper than I made made them. Oh. <laughs> well, the train I because they didn't know I was making them because it was a surprise. They didn't know I was making the train and a bunch of the other parts so they bought the wooden pieces of the, the the racks and they bought trains a pack of multi a 10 pack of multicolored trains and they bought wooden racks cheaper oh, than i see. made the set of racks and the trains <laughs> i'm doing oh, you the, don't see mary because her camera is not on she's getting ready to go i'm doing a little gnome and all right I'm mary doing, have a good easter have a good time and there, mary sister. you have fun enjoy Bye. Bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. Thank you. Enjoy, everyone. Happy Easter. Bye. Happy Bye. Easter. Well, I'm trying to slide it. Not cute. Yet. I have a white. No, I don't have a white in the box. Check and I see a big bubble. All right, this is only acrylic. Why isn't it one? Maybe too late. late. Right, I gotta cook it from the bottom now. Maybe too late. Maybe too late. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if I can fill that in. The bubble. Mm -hmm. I should have been paying closer attention, and I didn't check for bubbles. 
I want to tell that man. Just make sure I poke a hole in there good enough so I can fill it in. Thank you. <clears throat> kind of need to overfill it. I don't have my other pigment paste open, so I'm just going to use one drop of casting craft. See if there's any other spots. Mm -hmm. Right there. I don't think that's enough. Now. I that. Mm. There we go. Oh, clean it off a little bit. Or scoot it up so I don't want to put a hole there, but a big it's not easy. Huh. Where do I keep putting my paper towels? Oh, there it is. Well, what it is now. Yeah. I don't know where we started here. Okay. Let's color some. Let's color some dragon wings. Let's see what I'm doing, dragon wings. She said she couldn't see, and I forgot I didn't have the camera turned down. Here, let me switch over to y'all individually again. Oh, wrong person. Sorry. All right. It's the dragon wing earrings, right? Yeah, I got the dragon wing earrings, ear cuffs, and then I'm doing dragon wings. And the others, I've got the gnome and the set of dragon cuffs in there already. The dragon wing you got at Hobby Lobby's? Yes. Okay, very good. Is it? No, the There's... dragon wings, this one? Yeah. That one's from Amazon. Oh, okay, thank you. And this one here is from Amazon. Okay. I got the little gnome from Hobby Lobby. I like the dragon wings. I, I Yeah, I'm a bat girl. <laughs> 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 and Miss Coral is doing uh, the detail work on a couple of little chameleons, and then when they dry, I'll uh, do a little UV coat on them, drill some holes, put some keychains on a few, and magnets on the back of a couple of them. The magnet ones, of course, will be, you know, play for my grandbaby. And she'll probably steal all but one of the chameleons because I'm keeping one <laughs> for mine. <laughs> Oh yeah, Malia took all but the one that Jax wanted of the of all that UV stuff I did for the collab. Yeah. Yeah, she's been playing with them. Yep, that's exactly what my granddaughter does. She's she takes them and plays with them. And Miss Martha. Well, I've made that so far. Ooh, that's pretty. I love those colors. She's new to to resin. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out whether I want to put some glitter. I want to do a black background, which I'm going to have to use paint, I guess, to mix. Well, you got to be careful with UV and paint. It has to be very, 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 very little. Because you still have to have uh, light to be able to go through it to cure. Ah. Yeah, Miss Marva did the these. Yeah. Okay, you so... Have but if you have black UV polish, Martha? Yes, I do. I was going to say. Yep, that'll work. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So that's what I'm making so far. Good. Oh, that's right. You said they're in the other room. But if you would like me to show you what I have been working on, let me back you up. Oh, yeah. Let me back you up. Um... These I have been doing for a friend of mine, which is. Yes, you did, Sue. I saw that, too. Dragonfly wings for outside. Oh, those are pretty. Very yes, pretty. 
Sweet, huh? They've been fun. And in the little ones on both of them, I did a smiley face. That is gorgeous. <laughs> yep. They are. I haven't decided if I wanted to tap that these one more time, which I really should. I don't know. They might could be done, though. They might could be done. That's what I have been working on. She did a, a, a dot post. A, what was it? It was Paisley? And For I'm my daughter on... with pinks. The breast cancer one. She oh. did one specifically for my daughter, and I it's in um her son's room. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The she does beautiful nodding work. Her bead work is holy cow. Oh, uh, thank you, Billy. Yeah, I am a definitely crafter. I've got a sewing machine. I've got everything from here to bum to egypt <laughs> and this is the first time i've got to play these were all given to me by a friend and i mean i've got molds down there i i i'm getting ready to do uh, let me come up and i'll talk to you hi <laughs> i'm getting ready to do a shadow box and the shadow box is tore apart over there, which is a good thing. I have a whole box of already molded the steampunk octopus and the seahorses. It's going to be an ocean theme. And I think I found the paper I want to use for the background. I've even got other things, and we're going to make things. So this is going to be a fun adventure. Yeah. 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 I want to get it out of my damn craft room. <laughs> Let's work on it. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my future plans. And here's my craft room. That's magnet paint I got on the doors. and Magnet paint? Yeah, it's magnet paint. And then I painted over the magnet paint. I did that actually for when I was working on clothes. I could hang my patterns up. Yes, Billy, it's Martha Townsend. Let's see. I made the curtains for the room. My dad made my Martha sign. And that pegboard that's got all them goodies on there, I painted a face to match the curtains. Which is really cool. I painted my... Yeah, see, this place is just a whole hell. I yeah, painted it lighter these than dressers I've had since I was like 14 years old. Wow. And I painted them up and... Wait a minute. See that wooden thing right there? I built that to hold my paint. You can lift the top part up. There's paint underneath that. And then there's three drawers that are like from them plastic things that fall apart all the time. <laughs> that I built around them drawers. And it's on wheels. I got a handle on it. And I've also built a thing over here that is for my paper. And that's got, I built, I cut in handles on the side. And put wheels on it so yeah i'm good to go <laughs> yeah yeah i just haven't figured out what color to paint these things but probably end up gonna uh... you had me at magnetic paint <laughs> <laughs> if you ever go buy any i don't know where sure that you have them shake it up because it's thick it's oh. black and uh, but do like a half a gallon <laughs> i didn't have enough but. yeah okay because if i could repaint these walls because i can't stick anything on them because they're you know drywall and spackled over that and it's crap and i hate it but 
I want to make magnets and stuff, but I have nowhere to put them. Well, just get you a get you a tin sheet. Go up to the damn wall. Yeah, you can buy that. Yeah, that's thick on this wall. Huh? I've tried all kinds of stuff on this. Nothing sticky will stick to this wall. Well, number one, probably wash the wall. And then got, you'll get used some. It's, it's got the spackle on it that's like um, that. Liquid nails. Up. Liquid nails might work. Yeah. Liquid nails. Will it's hold just out here in the craft room. Thing. The house walls are smooth, but it's just out here. Well, it's not out here. Spackle stuff. Spackle, off. just sand it down some. Yeah, scrape it off or sand it down. I have to move my desk to get to the walls and well then what are you complaining about? <laughs> I just wanted to. There's always a way to do something. There's always a way. Um but I have all those cubes that I bought from Michaels. I could put that magnetic paint on them and use that to put the magnets on when I'm done. Okay. Unless you put about a good, let's see, I put three or four coats on that. And I'd say about eight coats is what's needed. So, truthfully, I don't think it works really all that good. <laughs> I really don't. Because there's times I put magnets on there and it just slides right on down. It's like, what the hell? Oh, okay. Then I won't do that. Yeah. So, I Thank would say, money. go get you a tin. Yeah, I got some in the other room for the our travel. And threw it to your your boards. What do they call them? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's what I would do. Make sure that it's magnet and it's not gonna fall down and break something. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, I got some. Uh, I had that magnetic sheet stuff that he would put over the top of his saw when he wasn't using it. Yeah. Oh, she did that. Okay, I don't think this idea is going to work either. Oh, man. I got cat's eye. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That looks great on UV. Excuse me. Again, Daniel Ooh. Cooper did a nice big video on it. I need a bigger mag. You know what? I got bigger magnets. I got bigger magnets. They're stuck to this wall over here. The only thing is, oh. fixing the glue into that to suspend the collar better did not work because I have a whole crap ton of air bubbles in it now. I'm magnets, right? Oh, don't fall out of my chair. No, nope, don't do that. I went and bought one of them cushions. Oh, but look at what did work. It seems to be feeling nice. Look. Oh, I'll put you back. Oh, that looks cool. Look at the swirl. I like that. It's just alcohol ink. Oh, cat's eye. What color? I got purple. Um, well, now I wonder if that other one will work like that, but I may. Let me try it. No, it just sinks. That's right. All the others that I did. Zoom height. Last one. Okay, now. Thank you. Zoom two. You're welcome. Thank you. This is there for a color. Black gel. There's my black. Alrighty then. Experimento number 372,000. <laughs> That sounds about right. All right, so what was I, doing? I forgot. 
Does that show green on the other side? It sure does show green. Now this one has purple. Mm -hmm. They were getting the sides colored. I'm still waiting on this to degas some. This is the one where I put the glue in it. Oh, crap. I forgot that I'm still on just me. Somebody tell me these things. <laughs> Thought you were feeling kind of special and decided to do it yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm special, all right. I may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I'm somebody's shot of whiskey. <laughs> it's been a, a long time, time since, right? Fireball. It's been a long time since me and April crafted uh, together. Yeah, it has. It's the cinnamon kind. Well, yeah, but I like, you know, I like my Jack Daniels and I love my wild turkey. Y'all know that. Yeah. And my oh buffalo my God, trade. Wild turkey. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't she tried it. Yep. She Where would open the spot. Of course, it was dark in the bar. I didn't see. Mm -hmm. I see what it was. Slam that thing in that big wild turkey. I'd be. Mm. <laughs> you know we don't like that stuff. Was it Roseanne? No, oh, it was Debbie. Mm -hmm. Debbie used to do that. All the time. Every chance she got. Mm -hmm. She would put that in front of me. Yeah. If it was dark, I mean, you know. Dark and far, you can see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that okay. Um. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see how bad those come back. I mean, they've been in there for a while. Oh yeah, we like to sub to each other's channels. Yeah, mm -hmm. we definitely do that. Mm -hmm. And on my recorded videos, I have a, a shout out list that just keeps growing and growing. Me too. Yep, mine. Right, mine, mine is, I, I, I did mine in the video program, so it's like movie credits. It's well known. Hang on, let me. Good one. Let me clerk on you. I didn't right. put, I may put black back behind him. Oh, look how cute. Aww. You got some bubbles there. Darn it. These little gnomes are so I, didn't, I didn't see them before I, now I got the ear cuff, the first one that I did. It had some, it had some air bubbles in it. Dang it. I could have checked it before I put it in there, and I didn't. But it turned out cute. There's a little dragon ear cuff. Oh, one. those are pretty. That's one side. And that's with the Intuit Resin Chameleon and Aurora powders. I had some. I hadn't used them yet. Right. Have y'all seen these little things that... Oh, go ahead. There you go. Miss Billy wants you to try oh, one of those. Wow. They turned out pretty cool. I don't, I don't have an earring on this side, so I can try it on this side, maybe. I don't know. I think they're more for kids. I'm not you sure. You lift your camera up so we can see. I will, but I think these are more for kids. They ain't going to fit on adults. May not even fit on kids, to tell you the truth. You ain't gonna be able to see it. You could always put a hole in it and make a mm -hmm. earring out of it. It's true, you could. And you probably should if you're an adult, because it ain't going. It's about halfway. It's right behind my... Yeah. 
I think that's how it's meant. It's literally just to hang, isn't it? Or is it supposed to yeah, look on feet? It's supposed to hang, but when they show it, it's oh, on a tree. And it's hanging here. And you can see the tail down here. Oh, okay. Miss Billy, so, Miss Billy said, uh, no, I'm not Miss Billy. Miss Gert says they'd look great if you stuck them together in the shape of a heart, like a frame. Oh, that would be cute. Yep, they would. You could do that. You could make them a heart. Put a picture. Comes close. You be them together and have like a picture in there. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Thank you, Miss. Thank you for giving me that idea. Okay, now I got some other dragon wings that I was gonna. I pulled them in with those chameleon and aurora powders. So we're going to see how they turn out. Might even throw in some glow in the dark because I'm not so. But I got one that's already open. I one with this one. Should be one with the other that's already open. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to fill these up. Well, let me cover the other ones first. Uh, might be this one right here. Yeah, I might throw some of those ones. I'll we'll do the film again too. But right now, I'm going to finish with these. Finish with these colors here. So I can see what they all look like. Billy said she got some oh wow, Miss Billy. Which one wonder what what'd you get? <clears throat> yeah, I, that's why I got mine too. Dragon wings for your ears. Yeah, I got those. But maybe not the same thing. Because these yeah, are these are dragon wings, Miss Billy, and they are earrings. No, she means the cuffs. Yeah, they're for your ears. But yeah, I, I got mine. I got mine from Timu also. Oh, I said it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I got mine from the orange and white place too, and mine are big. They fit me. Yeah, I got those from Amazon. And I should have known when I seen a little kid wearing them that they were just kids. But that's okay. I don't care. I was making them for my granddaughters anyway. Yeah, but you could make like three of them to make like a pot holder. Let me figure it out, right? <clears throat> yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Okay. Always make some type of little miniature thing out of it. Yeah, see, you, you probably got the adult ones. I I didn't realize that I was ordering the kids one. It's okay. I can still make them earrings for me. I just have to get yeah. a hole in them. Just put a hole in them. Yeah, I got the fairy wing ones too. Yeah, my sister used to really, my younger sister used to always be into fairies. My granddaughter did for a while, but she's kind of outgrown that. It was funny, we went over there to color eggs yesterday. The only one that colored eggs was Bella and Johnny. Uh, Maddie was, I guess, too good to color eggs. She didn't mind eating them, but she wasn't too good to color them. She had Bella color them. Yeah, I think she colored one egg. And then she got mad because her boyfriend had invited, I guess, invited her over for dinner. And her mom and dad said no. So, she was uh, not a happy camper. She went downstairs and went to, or got on the couch and fell asleep. 
She might have much to do with me anymore because I told her she was a spoiled brat. <laughs> truth hurts. The truth. I guess the truth hurts. Don't know what it is about the kids these days. My youngest son's the same way. He's in his 20s. Billy's good girl. She said husband wants to take her out to eat. Yeah, Miss Billy. Well, have fun. Enjoy, Miss Billy. Take care, Miss Billy. Hugs. Don't forget our doggy bag. Yeah. <laughs> she's too, com too comfy in her jammies. Yeah, I hear that, Billy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that. That's, uh, yeah, we know all about being too comfy in your jammies. Yeah. Although I'm in mine. Oh, I don't blame her. <laughs> I am too, but. Oh, she's not going. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. I'm sorry. I have to get dressed. Unfortunately. Yeah, I ain't. The only thing I did was take my good pajamas off and put my crafting dress on. Yeah. I have to get dressed because I got to go with my sons for dinner. So. I'm sure he wouldn't care if I showed up in my pajamas, but we've done it before. Yeah, we went over there before in our pajamas. Uh, we did our family thing yesterday evening. Well, we're not really doing it per se Easter Easter dinner. We're just having dinner. We're doing sloppy joes. <laughs> the every Sunday dinner. Yeah. Because, you know, I got leftovers from yesterday's dinner, which was fish and chips and salad. Yay. Oh, no, I'm going to make um, spaghetti with Italian sausage and cheese. Hubby's had a uh, turkey and uh, some sausage in the, uh, what's the smoker outside? We're going to have some smoked turkey and uh, Ooh, nice. I'll have smoked turkey. He'll have the sausage. <laughs> okay, that one didn't work. Uh-oh. When you put the alcohol ink on it that's still full strength alcohol ink, it leaves an air bubble. Uh-oh. Well, that bites. Yeah. But the other UV that I added the glue to is there's it there's no bubbles in it now, so I'm gonna try that one. Okay. It'll help suspend this other powder, maybe. Flip it. Right, that's stop. Yeah. Come on. Is the dark stuff? No. This is a Aurora stuff, the color changing. Well, it's kind of like this Aurora stuff from Intuit Resin reminds me of the interference powder from Less Resin. Yeah, Aurora, Ghost, Interference are all the exact same thing, just different people calling it different things. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's what I'm using right now, and it's reminding me of the interference that I have from Let's Resin. Where is my little torch? Oh, I should have filled it up with resin first. Duh. Well, I can do that after. Anything. Let's see if I can go real quick and flip any excess over into that wing. Okay, now let's try it with the ones that I made. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it did. Right. Here you go. I used way thing. too much. But yeah, I'm still going to pick more. This one is from Two Forge, Tennessee. Who else lives there? Somebody else lives there, too. Dolly Parton? No. No, someone else I've shipped to. I've shipped something to lives in Pigeon Forge. 
Now I'm trying to think. Oh of wow! Somebody else. Martha is in uh, Michigan. Yeah. Yep, I live in the Mitten. Gert lives in England. Wow, Gert. Billy lives in Idaho with the Spuds, but she's Canadian. Yeah. There we go. Thinner coat on that one. That one was way too thick. That's better. And I'll let it go. I'm trying to, I can't think of it. Okay, that one's going in. There is a ship too. That lives in Pitchy Village. Hmm. Besides Dolly Park. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking it was. I want to say Cindy. Cindy, I think. I could be wrong. I'd have to look at my Papa's book. All right, let's not be. I may not be using the right nail powder either. What do you mean? Which one? You said it had to be like the ultra fine because some of those nail powders are still on yeah, the thicker, chunky side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking side. it is. That's what I'm thinking it is. Oh, and Christmas Town is right there too. Oh my God, that store. Seven, 20, all year round. It's all. Oh. <laughs> Which says he? It's all Christmas all the time and it's so beautiful. Memorabilia. You, oh, you own the largest Dolly Parton memorabilia? I've seen that. i seen that on one of his videos. I think that wow, was a video Butch. i seen. That's cool. Yeah, it is. Largest Dolly Parton. Are you on Guinness World Records yet for that? I don't know. Do they have a record for that? Well, they might. Okay. That didn't work either. Well, we now know that you have to use the exact powders that he used. All right, I'm going to color this last one, and then I'm going to put it in the light after I fill them. So I guess when all else fails, make opals. <laughs> Is this gold? It's supposed to be gold. I'm making a good royal mess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Well, you know what? You're not crafting if you're not making a mess. <laughs> don't you know? I'm going to cook it from the bottom, too, because I don't think it's going to work anyway. But I'll try it. If you don't make a mess, then you're not crafting. Because I'm good at making this. Butch says he's up to 55. Yeah, I I watched his video that he did a little, was it YouTube thing? I don't know, Butch, was it a YouTube video you had on it? Or was it a uh, TikTok? Because i seen the video. He it on his channel. Yeah, i seen it. That was the first one I ever watched that he did. When I joined this channel, up to 55 outfits. Yeah. That yeah. she actually wore? Yep. Wow. I like that when she come out on stage to do rock and roll and she had that leather outfit on. It was like hot to trot, baby. Yep. That was something. I remember her with Porter Wagner. Yep. Oh, yeah. Way back in the day. Uh -huh. And his jackets outshone her dresses. He's definitely showing your age. <laughs> I was just thinking to say, these youngins ain't even going to know who Porter Wagner is. No. I do. <laughs> I do. I said the youngins. Yeah, the youngins won't. 
I watched that and the Grand Ole Opry and Oh yeah. That's where my mom and dad got married was on the steps. And of course we had to watch Hee Haw. Yeah. Yep. Sure hey, did. Hey Grandpa, <laughs> what's for supper? Yep. Sure did have to watch Hee Haw. I you didn't know who was Thailand. You didn't know who uh Porter oh. Wagner is? Thailand. I got excited. Well, he's an old, well, he ain't around no more, but he was an yeah. old country music singer when country was country. Yeah. No, John, that's Barbara Mandrell. I was country when country was uncool. <laughs> he's, in, he's in there singing it. <laughs> It was every Saturday night, right on. Yeah. Okay. Try this. I don't That's think it's when possible. your parents told you to go over there, youngster, and turn that TV channel and fix them rabbit ears. BR549. Yep. BR549. Yep. I can remember yeah, that. that was such a good show. That's when Little House on the Prairie was a new show. Oh. Poop. That didn't sound good. Uh, it's all right. It's still working. But it did go boom. Uh oh. Miss Kurtz, just I to figure out how to put it. Come down over here. Oh, okay. Turn off. Well, yeah, in England, I don't think you get the same stuff that we do. That over there. There, we'll set you over there. Very good. We won't. They still play on. We won't break you. On um, one of them oldies TV stations. Yep. The Andy Griffith show and. Yep. Because I have Sling and I think I have the Carol Burnett. Yep. And um, bewitched. Oh, Carol yeah. Burnett, bewitched. Oh, my faves. Petticoat oh, Junction. Carol Burnett. We had Petticoat Junction and yep. uh, Green Acres. Green Acres. Yep. Yep. <laughs> G Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's oh. Island. Mash. That's when they were new. The Hulk. The original Hulk. Yeah, with um, Lou Ferrigno. We were just talking about that last week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the last show. Ooh. Yeah, Miss Bella Ooh, said she was not going to give that thing to her brother, and then she went to hug me, and I accidentally knocked it out of her hand and broke the little plastic piece broke a piece off the little plastic piece that the little figures stood on said, you get back together that's what i told her i said i'll glue it back together for you you could uv it back together yeah well she was leaving at the time so i'll have to oh. go home and uv it back for her. i think i figured out why my powders aren't working why they're glow in the dark powders. Oh. oh. Could be. <laughs> Not the neons, the glow in the dark. Yep. You gotta have glow in the you gotta have the dark to make it work, right? I mean, because it's still sinking even with the glue in it. No. Yeah, those are in those I don't know, they're the glow in the dark powders are kind of a different consistency. Than... Yeah, they're very gritty. Yeah. And they're heavy. Yeah. So you might have to try it with just some regular pigment powder. Yeah, like um, um I can put that in little little pots right here. Like a mica powder, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I still got plenty of glow in the dark alcohol ink made now. Yeah. Let's 
Yeah. Over there. Yeah, but I need to make sure I get the bubbles out of these before I put them in there. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. Bubbles. Mm -mm. Let's make sure I got it around the little peg there. Oh, oh crap. We have nothing. It's kind of hard to get around it and not overfill it. Mm -hmm. I can use that crap and roll for that. Yeah. Well, no, because it's got to be in alcohol. No. Then How you many might. Bottles do I have? I don't want to use the crap and roll for that. No, I got one here. I just found them and I don't know where I put them again. You don't. I forgot to put my little. Oh my. This. I know that happens to everybody, doesn't it? You have yeah. something in your hand, you put it down and can't remember where you put it. Oh, yeah. yes. Constantly. Like I'm it's got to be within reach, but you still can't see it or find it. Right? Because I haven't been nowhere. I haven't moved. And, and I can't it. find it. And if it was a snake, it would have already bit you. Because it's right now. Hmm? Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Miss Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hello. That was my grandma's name. Mm -hmm. Ruby's know. resin studio. Okay. Oh, I think um, you did. You were in part of the collab, weren't you? Yes, she was. That's right, because I just subscribed to that channel. What is going on? I need another one. Ready to go? All right, y'all. This is ridiculous. Oh, I found them. Yep, they would have bit. You're right. Yeah. I have exactly four, and I need exactly four. <laughs> All right, I've lost another funnel too. What the? I'm trying to get these air bubbles out before I stick it in there. I don't want to lose the air bubbles. Oh, it did go over. But the problem is, it's those little grooves in there. Mm. Yep, I sure did. I just lost another yeah. little funnel. Oh, I lost one too. Shortly after you sent it to me. <laughs> Thank God Miss Coral sent me another one. I don't think these are going to fit in there. Sent what? <laughs> April sent me one of those little funnels and I lost it shortly after she sent it to me. Oh. And Thank God Miss Coral sent me another one. Maybe that'll work. It's pretty big, but yeah. But I just had it. <laughs> I had yeah. two of them, and I don't see them on my desk anywhere. If they fell, they are probably under the desk, and I won't see them. Because I don't know about y'all, but I don't crawl around under my desk anymore. Not since I got sucked one time. <laughs> A good idea. Yeah, that happens. I really can't laugh. It does happen. That, that's what that grandson's good for. Go underneath there and get my funnel that I lost. Uh, we're going to try it this way. It's not the right size funnel, but I can't find the other one. Okay. So I'm gonna jerry rig it. All right. Jerry rig it then. I am. But I'm not making as much this time as I did before. Okay. I gotta get the rest of these bubbles These are just the fluorescent pink mica powder. It's a pearl. Right there. There's the I still got to do that. Oh, crap. <laughs> but it didn't pop the ones. See, there's a pocket. Hmm. It's 
right there where the little grooves are. They're from that orange and white place. One tool I don't like. Your place. Make sure to get this from this one. I like <laughs> the whole thing. Miss Billy said I got stuck in the doggy door. La, 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 la. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness nobody la, 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 la. took a picture. Oh, Miss Billy. <laughs> I was stuck under my desk for a few hours one time because I was I had wedged my head in and couldn't get it out. Oh jeez. No. Oh. And nobody was home. Yeah. Because, of course, I slid off my stupid computer chair, hit the floor, and said, well, while I'm down here, I'll clean up, and got my head wedged. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't do that. I, I got wedged in the bathtub. Because <laughs> I was sitting in the bathtub, and I was scraping off all the old caulking so I could re the tub. And I'd sit with my legs folded so long that I needed to get up because my legs were going to sleep. And then I realized I was kind of stuck in that position and I couldn't, I was going to have to wait a while before I could get out of the tub. She was in a hurry and locked her keys in the house. Oh no. Yeah. I've done that and gotten stuck inside the small bathroom window because it was open. I didn't have a doggy door. Hmm. I have to put a set of resin on top. What the heck? I can't say I didn't do too bad. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Oh, I love it. That dark really makes it uh, pop better. Not too bad. No, it Not looks really bad. good. I think I should put some resin on top, all right? Just one tiny, thin coat. Yeah, yeah. you can to make it really super shine, yep. Yeah. I don't know that I can get them. I'm trying. They just... Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. I want to make some squirrels. This is her first time doing UV resin. Yeah. She did a good job. Exactly. So I said it's really good. Yeah. It's a craft all on its own. Whoa. Okay, so um we'll use that then uh scoop thing. We're doing squirrels. I just broke it. Yeah, I don't have my autofocus turned mm -hmm. off. They're little fingernail squirrels. I'm gonna make them up. Yeah, I'm gonna take them. Oh! 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 Let's cut off a two. I can't do all that stuff on my nails. I can barely get away with a jewel here and there. The feeling. I can if I can feel it, it drives me nuts. I know I like it. It's kind of like a worry wart stone. But That's beautiful. My nails long. I done cut them off. I'm getting ready to do mine when I do. I'm going to do it when the kids are at school. That way I can videotape it at the same time because y'all said you wanted to see it. So. Yep. Because I use, use UV. Oh, I really need it. It doesn't burn? It's UV gel. It's made for nails. Oh, okay. 
I heard somebody the other day claim that they used UV resin. I'm like, yeah, that, they that never is, use UV resin burn? on the nails. Yep, you can get third degree burns. Exactly. I'm like, that doesn't burn. I would never. I thought Miss Billy did it. She did do it, but hers was a, a hers was in a uh, thing. I think hers was actually nail stuff, yeah. though. Okay. Because I thought she did. I got to see if I can find this other little mold. I want to make two of those little gnomes, but I got to find the other mold. Okay, I've already looked through all those totes there. So that was the book. That's the new one I bought. I just got to figure out where I put the other one I used. Yeah, I wanted to do that stupid dragon egg for a candle pot, but I got to send it back. Plus, if that sucks. But they're supposed to be sending me out a new one tomorrow. Good. And then I can just, you know, take that one in to have it sent back. Yeah. Can't find my my final, so I'll just use one of them free cups that I get with that BS resin. <laughs> Work for me. Oh, by the way, I sent the link in the messenger about the, um... Yeah, I got it. I got mask. it. Just in case I uh, wanted to put it in for the, the thing, in case anybody else is interested in it. Okay, I will. I'll put it in the links below. She got a the glass table. Yeah, the glass leveling table. Actual glass, oh. not acrylic. It's glass. So it will not work. It's tempered glass, so just don't drop anything on it or drill on it. Good thing it's an inanimate inanimate object. It would say, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Me, not fall on it. <laughs> I have the glass one, the Tim Holtz one. I was thinking about putting it on one of my leveling tables that I have, but I don't use the the regular resin very often. Dang it. You find that is a mold. I don't know where I put it. I hate that. I gotta cut my nails down. They are just too long. They're driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. I used to have all the stuff, all the dang powder and everything. I gave it to the grandkids. Yeah, I don't do uh, uh, acrylic nails anymore. I used to, but it was really difficult to breathe yep. with the acrylic powder for me, and the smell lingered. So I switched to gel. I do the builder gel and all. I don't do my nails. I've been done three times in my entire life. I, had mine I was able to freaking walk. I loved long nails. Love them. And I'm learning how to do acrylics on my own. And I'm getting to where I'm not doing too bad. But that water ratio, the, the ratio between the liquid and the powder is definitely yeah. something. Oh, I threw that away, didn't I? Okay, I'll let that cure. I just don't uh, like the smell that it leaves behind. That lingering. Ugh. That's the monomer. Yeah, you got to really put that stuff in um, your little cotton swabs into a something that can close up
Okay, that ain't too bad. It ain't shabby at all. You might have to right, bezel now I need this. The, pearl, the mica powder ones. We'll see how they work. One of them's bound to work somehow. Finding it. I don't see how you work in the long nails. Because I'm used to them. But this one I kind of keep short because of my beading. At least pick up the darn bead. <laughs> Well, the butler never made no tea today. I'd fire him. I think I will. that when I lose a mold I bought another one so I can make a pair of gnome earrings and now I can't find the other little mold yeah because it, they never turn out the exact same for some reason if you use one mold twice yep that's why I bought another one now I can't find my first one I used I could Let's do another 30 seconds on that, and then we will pop them out and see how they look. All right, let's try that. It's interesting because I know I stuck it back in the package, but I don't know where I put it. I never did put any of them glitters in there, neither. Darn it. Darn it. I want to make a pair. I don't need to make just. If you make a pair, it looks like you If you don't make them at the same time, it's kind of hard to get them to come out the same way. And I don't know where I put it. Maybe I'll that. let that evaporate before I. Oh, well, I put it back in the packet. I don't know. But I don't know where I put it. I already looked through my tote where I had my other gnomes and it's not there either. So, Tape that down and leave it for about three days. When I start doing polymer clay again, I have to take my, because these are my nails. And I, I'll have to take them way down because otherwise I'll put gouges in it. Uh, Billy said they're behind you. Yeah, I know, Miss Billy. <laughs> she always tells me they're behind me. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. I almost grabbed my torch to help that along then i remembered it's alcoholing don't do that i'm going to mute for just a second because i'm going to turn my my uh heat gun on stay. oh well
put them in the glitter drawer. I'm done with that. I guess you would answer me if, you know, I had my microphone off again. On again. <laughs> Go away, yeah, I was saying, oh, look at how cool and psychedelic. It's mesmerizing. But, yeah, you couldn't hear me because my mic was off. What are you doing now, Miss Coral? Trying to drill a hole into one of the, the keychains. I hope they've got <laughs> these ones top-coated, dried good. I'm going to put magnets on the back of a couple of these. I'm going to put keychains on three of these. So I'm going to move that out of the way for a moment. So pull some of these back into view, at least so you can see some of them while I drill holes for starting drilling hole in one of these. You need one of them little electric ones like I got. Oh, look at the little squirrels. Look at how tiny. Oh, cute. Those are itty bitty. Pop itty -bitty. one out and check them out. That's what Marva needed for that little park scene she did in the book. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at the detail. Those oh, I'm are sorry. So there. tiny. Wow. That's really tiny. <laughs> Oh, those would be great for the fall. Oh, that's the oh no, no, they're they're good now because everybody goes squirrel. <laughs> and that was oh, the yeah. biggest one. Wow. Look at that tiny one. Jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, let's get the little one out. Well, there's I did do one another day after I got them. Oh my God, he's so little. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Holy he, crap! Oh, come on, focus. Isn't that tiny? Oh. Uh, yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh! This computer will not. Put your function. other hand up there so you can try and block the white behind it, and it might help focus. There oh, you go. Wow. Look at that. Oh, how cute. Look at the detail on the squirrel. That's awesome. Yeah, they're too cute. That is so cool. Oh, wait till y'all see the tray that I have that I bought from Glitter Hippo. Uh-oh. It's a giant squirrel platter. <laughs> oh, Mary's back. That didn't take long. I did see someone do the squirrel. These, With I the seen them on... That, yep. that orange place. Uh, Miss Cynthia. And you had to buy two to get the price. So I got two of these and it's like, oh my God. Uh, they're both squirrels? Yeah, they're both squirrels. Great. Now I got to go on the stupid orange and white place again. <laughs> I already had those. Oh, there. since Mary's there. This is what I made, Mary. Isn't that, that is gorgeous. I did some cat's eye nail polish. Yeah. It's cool. I ended up getting a pink chain I'm going to wear this with. That'll be cool. That's okay. Well, we'll see. I just put the white on the back of that one. We'll see if it works. Those squirrels are so tiny. Oh, wait a minute. They're out of shot. They were so tiny. They're so little. Oh, you're at your sister's? Okay. Now, I know I made one, but where did I put it? Oh, I need another little container. I hope I got another little container. 
Oh. Tell Kathleen I said hello. You're still on me, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Did you find anything out? Well, all we can see is Miss Francis and Miss Jeannie. You can't see her board again. <laughs> I'm all done. I'm going to get out my well, Easter egg. It's okay. Try painting. Looking for that mold. Oh, yeah, that's right. I only found one. I can't find where I put the other one. But I am ready to uh, take my dragon wings out. Oh, I can't wait to see them. Oh, come on. All right. Over there, anyway. Here's one there. Zoom in on Miss Francis. I'm trying. Okay, I, I couldn't sure. find my cursor. All right, there's one pair with those chameleon into it resin chameleon galaxy powders. Who neat. And then I did some with the Aurora powders. And these are the Aurora, the Aurora colors. Let's get rid of that. Really cool. You gonna paint them afterwards? Because I thought those Aurora colors would show up better. No, I meant in the grooves. That's yeah. I meant to highlight the grooves. Yep. Trying to find something that I can get down in there. Maybe a toothpick. That's the Aurora colors there. I think it's a blue. Wow. I love that one. That's a pretty color. And then I did just the uh, galaxy blue. In the bigger one. Here's the bigger ones. That's pretty. Yeah, I think you have to. I mean, I coated them pretty good. I, I thought yeah, they would probably, be. Yeah. Probably I have thought to they, back black. black yeah, I thought they'd be a little more. Yeah, I thought they'd be a little more vibrant. But or maybe even a, you don't have to do black either. You could do like a dark blue or a purple or. Yeah, that's some of the galaxy powders. And I got one more set that is a Aurora powder. I think it's supposed to be pink. But you don't really look pretty. You don't look. Oh, it does. Yes, yeah. if you try to hide a certain way, it does look. Oh pink. yeah, it definitely has that pink. Yeah, I probably will highlight the insides of them. Now this mold here was the one I was looking for because I have two of them. See the little gnomes? Oh yeah, yeah. I've got two of those too. They're earrings. That's the. That's the reason I bought two, is that what you're saying? Yeah, so you can make them identical. Now I don't know where my other one is. Oh. And I'd like to have identical ones. Yeah, the struggle is real. Yeah. Dang it. Well, I got this one out of the mold. All right, let's see. Well, it's it's there, but it's not. It didn't do what it's supposed to do. But it's pretty. It's pretty. I love the colors. Lots of colors. It's pretty. It looks three D though, doesn't it? Yeah. So I just have to use on, the focus. color and get them to match. Yeah. Cause there we go. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know what that dot is down there on the bottom. But it's in it looks it. like a real stone. Uh, glitter, probably. No, it's not That's glitter. What I was thinking is it almost looks like a single dot of glitter, like an orange. Yep. I don't have any glitter in here or out in here. 
Well, that it doesn't transfers mean. from everything and everywhere. Oh, yeah. is it picking it up from the side yet? Hang on. You see it? Yeah. You where got spores. Yeah, where it was dropping. See, that's a spore in there too. Whatever that is. Yep. Yeah, that's it not glitter. Alcohol that's a spore. Ink. It might be alcohol ink. But it turned out neat. Yep, it did. Very I was nice. waiting for this alcohol to evaporate so I could cook cook it. Y'all, I'm cook doing it, it again. <laughs> Cooking again. I like that star. Using that easy bag. I like the colors in it so far. Yeah, it's my I'm putting it in my easy bake oven. Cooking again. That was what did I use? I used pinata, passion purple, with the pink. Because that's not beard. Mica yeah, alcohol it? ink that I made, and then rainbow on top from pink Marabou. It's actually pretty cool. In person, I can see all the different layers. In, well, there's no layers, but the spore thingies. Yeah. Yeah. We can see some of them when you turned it sideways. I bet you are hungry, Mary. All you had was lunch today. <laughs> that special lunch. Well, we have two out of six turn out. I mean, these are all right, I guess. They're glow in the dark, but they just dropped completely. Oh, the glow in the dark is so cool. Let me see if I can get it to. Can you see it? Mm. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I love That's that. Nifty. Love the glow in the dark. Really do. That was what I thought was nail powder. It's glow in the dark powder. <laughs> there she goes. She was thinking again. I know. <laughs> I had a idea. idea. That was a good one. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, classic. Right, put on the goggles. Put on the goggles. I'm not sure this is going to work very well, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to be kind of blue. And the other one is going to make purple. But I couldn't do that again. What, pull out plum? Yeah, I think that's plum. Yep. For his little nose, little micro brush because it ain't a very big nose. You just remember what you used on it. I'm thinking this is way easier than the paintbrush. Yeah, he's. Oops. I can't tell. I mean, that looks like. It wasn't hard. That's like arms. I might need your help with putting these things on, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the strength for these split rings. Yeah, they're not fun. Well, these are a, a double. Yeah. Split ring. That's what I put on my dog's collar to put his tags on. Because if I don't. If I don't use the heavy duty keychain split rings, then he will rip it off. Can you try and do it under the. Only if you're not standing yeah. in front of it. And the other ones are going to be even harder because I didn't. I, I drove a little further away. Yeah. I didn't want to get. All right, I'm too, back. I had, and I found one of my funnels. Yay, you found a funnel! Or 
I just had to go in the other room for a minute. I'm having a little hand assistance over here with the keychains. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. It's not the same when he's not bending over picking something up. <laughs> Yay, there's one. <laughs> Fucking get that one up. Dude. Okay, let me try. Let's see, what do I have? Right okay. That one and that one. That one's really going to be hard because it's way down there. <clears throat> Oh, no. And then I'll magnet those ones on, and those ones for Letty, and then that one for Donna. Let's magnet on the back of that. Kaleidoscope. Um, glitter. And some of my, what is that stuff that I use all the time? Thank you, Miss Gert. Thank you, Miss Mary. Those are so cute, girl. Thank your you, Miss Francis. Your granddaughter is probably going to snag them all. Oh, yeah. There's one I'm keeping. <laughs> <laughs> the rest she can have, I'll let her play with them. I made her some Easter ones a couple of years ago that all are, they're, they were um, bunnies and eggs and things like that. And they're, they were all the, the uh, Petri effect dropped like this. She loves them, oh, and they're I bet. still just as bright like this. And they're two years old. Wow! And they're the let they were made with the let's resin. Let's resin resin. Let's resin uh, color uh, uh, alcohol inks. That's why I, I love let's resin. Thank you, Miss Arty. I do too. I do. Oh, our deal. It bleeds, it bleeds, it bleeds. You don't want it to bleed. It won't come out, but... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This one won't be as bad, thankfully. I just didn't... I had it back too far. And that'll be the last of the keychains. The rest is magnets. I had bought some magnets for making some for my granddaughter. But I don't know what I did with the magnets now. Uh -oh. They're in a container with a lid on it. Oh, I see them. You can always go to that Hobby Lobby place again. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get mine from there. I get mine on, on Amazon. I do the neodymium magnets. Yeah, I have the rare earth magnets. Thank you. Because it's the ones that I used to use in scrapbooking, too. Only these are thicker. And I know that those worked. Oh, dang bottle. I added some cathedral window and that kaleidoscope glitter in it with the clear that I had left over that I had put the soap in. All right. I made these things the way you I gotta do another one of these. I don't know whether to back it with. But I think I'm gonna do pour it in the ivory with the the gold um the olive gold chameleon powder for the skull itself, just for the face, and then the the intents up here. Cool. I think that would be awesome. Or glow in the dark. <gasps> glow in the dark. Oh, wow. You got to get glow in the dark. <laughs> and I got the clear polyurethane, too. I got <coughs> two gallons of it. Does it actually stay clear, clear? Yes, it does. You're white up there. I still haven't tried it. Yeah. I don't really want to use that. I try, Sue. Well, at least now I know my day was worthwhile. You're laughing. Thank you, dear. 
Maybe I'll just one door. I'll turn the AC, baby. Yeah. I told you, this one light over here kicks the heat, at the temperature up in this my craft spot. It's 79.7 <laughs> over here. And for once, oh. I'm actually getting warm. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't have that kind of heat now. I'm in Florida, and that's hot. 76, 77, I don't mind, but boy, 79.7 is getting a little on the warm side. Okay, don't need the drill. You go up. We're done with that. I'll have to sand the backs of these a smidgen. All right, easy. I've got to do one more top coat on you because you peeled up some. So the little split rings, in case anybody was interested, they were, um, that was Michael's. Bead landing split rings, 12 millimeter. They, uh, I'll pull a single one out in case anybody's. For your key ring? Big size, yeah, for the key rings. They're the, literally a good big size. They're 12 millimeter bead landing. I picked them up at Michael's and it was 50 pieces. Um, I don't remember the price and of course they don't have it on here. I'm going to go through Art uh, Sue and find the link for this exact one. And then I'll put it down below. It was from the orange and white place. Now that I got to go there today anyway. Wait a minute. I don't remember what. Yeah, I do. Those little bitty squirrel molds. Okay. Okay. Y'all are done. It's very pretty. You need an extra top coat. You need sanding and just in a spot for some. Yes, it is. But it is very pretty. Oh dear. Get out of this thing. And I just recently got it in too. If you will, here's that one that I don't mix up in this light for a four I got my light on over here, so I'm waiting on that anyhow. I got I'm coloring the little gnomes now, so I'm leaving my colors set out so I can hopefully match them up. Can't guarantee that'll happen, but I'll try. I'm trying to match them up. I'm backing them with oh, one. It's seven dollars and ninety-eight cents. It's called Skull Flower Pot and Pen Holder. Cool. Thank you, thank you. It's a hundred and thirty mil capacity. Wow. But it takes a lot of resin. Yeah, I got some deep pour upstairs. I think I'm gonna do it in the the magic pour plaster stuff. Yeah. Then you could always paint it later if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I got some stuff I want to send you, though. Because I'm probably never going to use it. But I know the, but I, I have tried sharing the link. And all it gives is an item number. <clears throat> um. Hold on just a second. Let me pull it up. There's a weird way you have to do it for the TV. Because see, on here, on my phone, if I go to hit share, it just has an item number. 
Oh. Come on, log in. And I copy it. And then if I go in Messenger to, like, I send it to Coral Marine just now. But I think it just comes up as your, um. As the item number? As an item number. That's weird. Oh, no. It did the whole thing, I think. Wow, it's going um, through a whole um, bunch of crap. I'll see if you. It's kind of hard to check. Oh, see if you have the whole right page open. They're white. Mm. Okay. I mean, it was. Oh, I can send it to y'all that way. Then they're not. Well, let's see if you have the whole page open and it has the the little thing to the right and it says the share to. I always go to where it has the the actual looks like the link to the far oh. right. I click on it okay. and it says link copy and then you can you know put it in the messenger or you know wherever at for uh let's see get let's see if i can get it in i'll try to put it in there later today i don't want to be a credit. after we're done here yeah a few minutes so i will probably use i didn't put white behind this one at all okay, it's so thin. You know, it's gonna be hard to get anything down in there. You're gonna have to put the gold on, just put the gold in there and then wipe it out. Mm, so the way you're gonna get it down in there. Mm -hmm. But that'll look cute on the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's still warm too. I didn't leave it lay up here. It's not over there. Oh God, I am having a hard time trying to keep a straight line. Well, we are coming up at two hours, ladies, and I got to get my dinner cooked for everybody. Hey! And I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we have Miss Francis at Beating Crazy Custom Creations. We have Miss Coral Marine at Coral Marine's Resin Art. And we Howdy. have Ms. Martha Townsend at Martha Townsend. All on YouTube. Go check them out and subscribe. Thanks for showing up today. Uh, maybe next time, Sue or Butch, you guys can be on the panel. We'll get to talking about that during the week. Bye, Mary. Bye, Butch. Butch. If you can make one Bye, person smile all day, then your day's been worthwhile. And I know I had somebody laughing earlier. I heard it. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for coming today. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Oh, I forgot to change the banner, didn't I? There we go. Thanks um, for inviting me in. No problem, Martha. Thanks thank for showing up. Thank you for having up. me again. Thanks for having me. Next time, you don't have to do resin next time, Martha. You could do some of the dotting. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Lord knows I got more stuff to do. Crafts. We're not just yes, resin we people. We so. like all kinds of crafts. Well, and I will try to get the link put in the bottom as soon as I get offline. All right. With that being said, thank you guys for coming and have a wonderful day. And Bye, happy Thank you. Bye. Bye.